What's going on guys? It's your boy Tiny and we are traveling and we're in beautiful Branson, Missouri and we are staying at the Point Rail Golf Village. Here's my hotel slash condo review. <laughs> Missouri and we decided to do a VRBO we was going to get a hotel but good lord hotels are expensive this time of year it is the week of 4th of July and it's the weekend right after 4th of July so technically it's a holiday weekend and hotels were expensive we're talking like 250 a night for a low end so my wife who is very awesome at snipping out the deals got on Airbnb and VRBO and she found us this place and I'm going to show it to you because it's awesome and then we'll talk about some things about happened when we got here and how they got handled and how we're going to give them a five-star review. Stay tuned. All right, so you see the video, the montage of what it looks like here. It is absolutely beautiful. I mean, it's a golf village. It should be beautiful. So we are staying in this condo and one of the things that we have to have, we got this as soon as we get in our room. This gets us to the owner's entrance, and we have to use that to get into the pool, uh, the uh, courts for basketball, pickleball, tennis, what have you. That's how we get in and out. We literally get to go in the owner's uh, lane whenever we're checking in with this thing. It, it makes me feel pretty special, I ain't gonna lie. Um, but here's the room, and I just wanna show it to you how nice it is. We'll start with the bedroom. All right guys, walk through the main door. And this is off to the right. It is our king size bed that we have stayed in. As you can see, I've been to Bucky's. I got a niece and a nephew. They're both gonna be receiving that whenever we get home. And then here from the side, walk over here. It's set up like a condo. We got a washer and dryer. We're washing some clothes so we don't have to wash them when we go home. Here's where we've stored our luggage. And then over here, I always wonder how the bathrooms are gonna be. And there I am. And we have a pretty decent area here for the bathroom. Nice sink vanity area and a pretty decent sized shower. I ain't gonna lie. I'm big man certified. Sometimes I have issues with that. All right, so you get away from the bathroom and the bedroom. You come out here and this is our kitchen setup. It's a full blown kitchen, trash can, microwave, everything is just like living at home. It is very nice. Uh, the living room area is really nice too. We're gonna to get to that right now. So you go from the kitchen area over here that we was just at, and this is the entertainment part of this. We got our TV. They have a set up with a Roku. We will be watching House of Dragon later tonight on HBO. So that's awesome, we don't have to miss that. Here's the rest of the living room area. There's Aaron, gaming it up, probably playing with one of my buddies on Fortnite, one of our buddies, hey babe. And then you walk over here and you got a front row view of the golf course area. All right, so that's the room. And I'm glad I'm making this on the day before we go home because had I recorded this video on the day we checked in, I probably would have been pretty grumpy. When we checked in, we had dirty sheets, dirty towels, and a uh, half a gallon of sangria that's still in the fridge. That's not my jam. I'm more of a water, Diet Dr. Pepper, beer man, not sangria. Still in the refrigerator. And uh, we went and saw family on Friday night. It's now Sunday night. And when we got home, my wife realized that the sheets were dirty. And then we had dirty towels that we saw whenever we first checked in. And so she started washing. She reached out to the owner the owner was very nice. She reached back to us, apologized. Evidently she hires a cleaning crew and uh, 
I guess they missed this room or skipped the room, but Friday night we had to go into full blown washing clothes to be able to shower and be able to sleep, which is not ideal whenever you get home at 11 and you drove for five hours that day. You just want to chill out once you finally get there. But like I said, the owner reached out. She has given us a pretty decent refund on the room and I would say after that refund, this nice hotel, the condo, this nice condo was maybe, what do you think, babe, $140 a night? Yeah. About $140 a night. Compared to a hotel that was $250 on the busy Branson Strip, and we're off, secluded to ourselves, and it's been wonderful. We just check in and out whenever we leave to. Like I said, we cruise in like we're one of the owners here and we check out tomorrow. And it's been a very pleasant experience. If you are traveling and you see that hotels are expensive, go ahead and look at Airbnb and VRBO. There are deals to be found. This 2024, you need to save as much money as you possibly can. That's been my review. This is how my channel started. I am very happy to say that I'm still making these uh, videos. They've been some of my most watched and most liked and people say whenever I travel, it's one of the things they look forward to. And I thank you all for that. This is how we end every video. Babe, you wanna wave to them? Bye, make good choices.